Chairman Yoon began investigating the ransomware hacker suspected to be within the company. She instructed Director Seo, the head of the security department, to unlock the system to track the employees' locations and financial transactions worldwide. Although he warned her this was illegal, she insisted on initiating it. She began by searching for those who received a large sum of money transfer but found no records. She then tried to find someone who traveled abroad or bought a plane ticket and found a record of Dr. Kim Shingu booking a plane ticket to travel in three weeks. Since he was about to retire, he was probably preparing to visit his children. Without any progress, she had the AI system Jang Yang Sil track the employee's records and report to her immediately if there were any suspicious transactions of travels or money transfers. Chairman Yoon had Chai Woon monitor Director CEO's reactions after finding out that she suspected someone within the company. He followed him home but saw nothing unusual. She began to think that, with Director CEO's abilities, he wouldn't need to hack the system for ransom, he could just embezzle and transfer the company's money comfortably. At that moment, she immediately suspected Chai Woon because he had come close to her at a suspiciously opportune time and had a part in convincing her to pay the ransom. She had Yang Sil search for his record and found that, apart from being an ex-Marine, he was also involved in the Azorin explosion incident. In his personal record, he only stated that he had been on service abroad. She thought he intentionally concealed this matter. Additionally, Prime Minister Sian Wu Jae was involved in the same incident and was acquainted with him. She suspected him being a mole and sending BF secrets to both former President Lee and Prime Minister Sian. They were family, and she knew for herself that neither of them could be trusted. Chai Woon confirmed that he did not send ransomware or hand over BF secrets. It was obvious that instead of suspecting him, she should be suspecting her lab first. All problems seemed to start from it. Chai Woon had no interest in BF from the beginning. His only objective was to find the culprit behind the Azorin incident. He asked President Lee to help him meet Kerr, the criminal who confessed to be the one, leaking information about President Lee's arrival. He then ordered his grandson, Prime Minister Sian, to approve the visitation. Kerr had previously claimed he was unaware of the bombing, he only provided the timing of President Lee's arrival. However, later, he confessed to being the one who put the bomb in the command center. Chai Woon didn't believe that a good-hearted volunteer teacher like him could kill the children who he fed and taught, but Kerr simply said, it's all over. Yoon Jai Yu followed the police to rescue Hong Sae-hyup's submerged car and found that the dash cam was missing. On San got frustrated that the police had called him to inquire about information because yesterday around 5 p.m. he was the last person to talk to her on the phone. Chairman Yoon instructed Yang Sil to check Hong Se Yip's location and found that Dr. Kim Shingu was with her the whole time from 5 to 5.50 p.m. At 6 p.m., the police received notification of her submerged car but the location of the incident was about 30 minutes away from Dr. Kim's house. Aunt San thought she might have gone to Dr. Kim's house and had an accident on her way back home. However, Chai Woon believed it was impossible because if she was still at Dr. Kim's house at 5.50, she couldn't have been at the accident site at 6 p.m. They rushed to Dr. Kim's house, but he had already fled. He admitted and believed that he deserved the 80 billion won because the company had become rich due to his work. Yesterday at 5 p.m., Hong Se Yip brought his belongings to his house and accidentally overheard him talking about receiving the ransom money. He had no choice but to silence her. After he pushed her car into the river, he quickly informed the police. But while she was unconscious at the hospital, Hong San came to visit and he thought the police would surely track him down when they found out that the dash cam had been intentionally removed. He had the money, so he decided to flee abroad. Chai Woon broke into his room and found the watch and mobile phone on forwarding calls. 
Prime Minister Xi in order to revoke his passport and put Dr. Kim on the no-fly list. Now they knew he was hiding in Vietnam. Yoon Jae-yoo recalled their past, where she and Dr. Kim had a disagreement. His wife had severe cancer and only had two months to live. He decided to let her undergo Yoon Jae-yoo's experiments for a chance to survive, but the results were ineffective. He blamed her for his wife's death. Chai Woon believed that Dr. Kim had planned to escape all along but messed up as Ms. Hong found out first. He had to sink her car and ruin his plan. Now his only chance was to get a new fake passport. Chai Woon went to the workers' apartment where the illegal workers were living. They thought he was the police, so they tried to escape and fight back. But Chai Woon just wanted to find the broker's leader to hire him to find Kim Shingu in Vietnam, offering a reward of 30 million won. Later at the New Year's party, Sian Wu Gun, Prime Minister Sian's father, is a chairman of Dorsen Group. He offered Yoon Jai Yu to sell her company to him. He only wanted the lab and cell culture technology and offered 32 trillion won. She asked for time to consider but was interested because she could stay away from the spotlight, the media, and crowds, and focus on her own research work. After that, Chai Woon received news from the brokers that Dr. Kim already flew to Cambodia and used a fake Thai passport under the name Som Chai Tran. Prime Minister Sian received a similar report that Kim shing was flying from Cambodia to France. But French administrators and Interpol were informed and would arrest him immediately upon his arrival. However, shortly after, they were notified that Dr. Kim had died from a sudden heart attack while on the plane. Reporters and the public blamed Chairman Yoon, accusing her of poisoning Dr. Kim and blaming the rumors of meat culturing liquid contaminated with germs on him. Though the forensic reports showed no trace of any harmful substances. Despite facing numerous bad news, Chairman Yoon eventually refused to sell BF to Dorsen Group of Sian Wugun. Three men from three generations were working together to find something in BF. They were trying to buy the business and send a mole to find secrets, but it seemed that the plan had not progressed. Later, there was a robbery at the police station's armory. The criminals were able to take guns, rifles, and grenades. Chairman Yoon decided to go back to the company's headquarter, but they encountered a road closure on the way, forcing them to take a detour. They then encountered the criminals who blocked their way and opened fire. Chai Woon and his assistant returned fire, but they were outnumbered and cornered. They fled into the forest and tried to return fire before Chai Woon was shot with serious wounds.